first. First, a man who's got more characters than the Chinese alphabet. You see, it all runs into each other. On Spitting Image, he was among others, Prince Charles, John Gielgud, David Coleman, Ronald Reagan. It's not bad for a young man started his working life as a grave digger. In Red Dwarf, he's the odious rimmer. In the British Empire, he's the even more odious manager of the Whitbury Leisure Centre, Gordon Brittis. What's that, Gavin? Nothing, Mr. Brittis. That's a cigarette. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I thought we'd established at our last staff seminar that smoking is only for the weak-willed and feeble-minded. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> We'd better meet at five o'clock, Gavin. I'm going to have to take you through the health statistics again. Yes, Mr. Brittis. Before you go, Gavin, I think an apology might be in order. Oh, um, I'm sorry, Mr. Brittis. Not me, Gavin. Oh, um... Go on, I'm sorry, Mrs. Britters, for shortening your life by an estimated three minutes <laughs> and endangering your respiratory system by my thoughtless and selfish behaviour. Oh, um, Mrs. Britters. It doesn't matter, Gavin, go on. Now, please welcome the man that nine million viewers love to strangle, Chris Barry. <laughs> I must say, I must say, shut up! God help us! I must say, I didn't think you'd get any applause at all because that <laughs> character, it really is, he's awful, isn't he? Any sympathy at all for him? He never sets out to be, though, that's the thing. He yeah. never sets out to be odious. <laughs> That's the whole thing, Terry. See, I have a dream in my life, you see. <laughs> and to make sure everyone's friendly and nice and lovely, just like me. Where I'm very blinkered, though. Yeah. Where did you get it from? I mean, where did the voice come from? The body language, where did that come from? Well, the voice, I, when I first started to get my equity card, I went on a tour with a musical director who actually spoke. I, I mean, in my mind, he spoke very much like this. And he used to drive his car through the hills in Wales, and we would say, no, David, there's a much quicker route to work to Newport. And he would go, no, there isn't, believe me. Do believe me. <laughs> and, and, of course, there always was, but we'd never dispute. He had the glazed look in his face that says, please, that's the, that's the way to go. And the, the physicality, the sort of shaking of the head, and that sort of, <sighs> there's no reason why, all that sort of stuff, <laughs> I got from my neighbour. From your neighbour? I don't you, think he knows it yet. Yeah, you can, he does now. <laughs> you can never go home again now. And uh, do, uh, do you pick up things from, from observation? I mean, the body language, or do you just, does it come with the voice? You get the voice and the body language from us. I think the voice is the first thing. I think that's uh, the main sort of 70%, and then from there, you just, the rest just seems to fall into place. Do you get it? any abuse as this fairly odious manager of the leisure centre? Well, so far, most of the abuse I've got is as Rimmer, Red Dwarf. You know, people saying, where's your H, mate? All right, Smeggy. Hello, Smeggy. How are you? All that sort of stuff. Yeah. But I don't really, um, I don't get too much abuse so far as, as, as British. Yeah. I wear, I disguise myself. I think he'd, he'd be wonderful, British, if he had just a little bit of something to, to relieve his awful smugness. Because sometimes you, you, you actually switch it off in frustration with him. Right, I, I can understand that, but I think ultimately he is, I mean, in this series particularly, the, he's been the victim, really, and the people, when he nearly got sacked, for example, by the inspector, who fortunately was a British himself. But I think there's a, he, as I say, he always sets out to do good. It's just, unfortunately, he deals, people is my game, and unfortunately, what he does, he reads a book and learns all about <laughs> people, yeah? Now, your face, or you see, your voice was your fortune long before your face, because you did... A spitting image, all those voices. I mean, what characters did you do? I, you did David Coleman. Um, uh, extraordinary. Uh, yeah. <laughs> later on, we'll be talking to uh, the one and only Gary Lineker, uh, the man, of course, they call Gary Lineker. <laughs> <laughs> and I did Will, that's Will. Uh, the thing I miss about being president is Mrs. Thatcher. Often's the time I'd watch her cute ass wiggle up the gangplank. <laughs> And I would think to myself, Ron, it's a pity it's just her country you're screwing. <laughs> <laughs> and I did Paul Daniels, of course. You may like it, not a lot, but my show is the most irritating show <laughs> in the whole... <laughs> well, like I did Bob Geldof, who comes from the similar part of the world to you. Yeah. And, um, but that's so... hard. To, it is amazing. <coughs> Excuse me, can you learn 
how to do these things are just a thing that you can click on and click off. I th there's got to be some sort of knack somewhere, but I think everyone has got an impersonation in them somewhere. Like, for example, if you wanted to do Sean Connery, for example, all you'd have to do is, is try and remember to concentrate the teeth in this kind of sort of listy sort of way. Just go shh for every S sound. Just say shh. Okay? Yeah. And then look quite butch. Yeah. Start looking really butch. Yes. Yeah. And then talk through your nose. Oh, Send it down through your nose. Hey, now say after me, my name is Bond, James Bond. My name is Bond, James Bond. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all, not bad. <laughs> or... This is good, this is good. Drop the rest of the show, drop it. David Coleman, just... Sycophantic smile, sycophantic smile. Sycophantic smile. That's right. <laughs> I'm a parrot. Finger in the ear, you see? Finger in the ear. And uh, just say extraordinary. Oh, no, it's extraordinary. Yeah. <laughs> you did. You just, oh, James you, Mason. Do you just do James Mason? No, I can't do James Mason. I was saying you sounded like James Mason. Yeah. But that is, so there's some, some things you can't do. Why can't you do James Mason? You, I don't know, because one policy I have is if I see an impersonator who can do an impersonation a lot better than I think I'll ever be able to do it, I leave it alone and leave them to do it. Yeah. And is that true? You started as a grave digger. Yeah. It must have been a... Well, I didn't start in show business as a grave digger. No, no, no. I, well, I dig your own grave <laughs> later. But, I mean, were you a severe disappointment to your parents for being a grave digger? Well, it was an extended summer job. And I, I was a grave filler. Very subtle difference, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you've got to be skilled to dig a grave, actually, because you've got to get the right dimensions and things. But filling is just a heave-hoeing into the sort of the side, into the hole. Mm. Do you have to... Do you have to... Uh, you got over the old grave digging very quickly by just getting us into technical detail. But do you have to continually update the voices you do? And you have to, haven't you? Because, I mean, one remembers, say, my Garwood getting, really finding it hard to find new voices after Harold Wilson went. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, you do. And when we do Spitting Image, they send you a tape of the new voices they'd like you to do. But, I mean, um, one of the reasons that I tried to steer away from doing impersonations was because of the, the nat I think it's a sort of cul-de-sac in many ways because once you get older it becomes more and more difficult to find new characters because doing younger characters can, can not sometimes I don't think look right you know mm. in an older person and I think just I prefer doing something like British which has an impersonation there but also a little bit of acting involved as well yes. pretentiously says <clears throat> No, it's good. Um, you'll continue to do Spitting Image and all the rest of it? Yes, if, uh, if they want me, I'll be around, yeah. Totally good. It's good to see you. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you very much. Brilliant too. talent. Thank Thank you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.